Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a look at rule number 12 that tells us that if the matrix does not have an inverse, it's not invertible as we say, then the determinant of the matrix is equal to zero. So here we have the matrix A, which has the row 3, 3 and another row 5, 5. Let's find the inverse of that matrix and see what we get. Of course, I probably did it in such a way that there's no such thing as an inverse of this matrix. Let's find out. The inverse of matrix A is equal to 1 divided by the determinant of this matrix, which is the product of these two elements, 3 times 5, minus the product of those, which is 3 times 5, times the matrix, which can be found by interchanging these two elements. This becomes 5, this becomes 3, and changing the sign of those two, which this becomes minus 3, and this becomes minus 5. Now notice here we have 1 over 15 minus 15, which means this is 1 over 0. This is 1 divided by 0, which is undefined. It doesn't matter that this matrix is a 5, a minus 3, a minus 5, and a 3. It's still multiplied by an undefined number. Therefore, there is no inverse to this matrix. If we now try to find the inverse, or not the inverse, but the determinant of that matrix, so now let's find the determinant of matrix A. This is equal to 3, 3, 5, and 5. And for the very same reason that there was no inverse to the matrix, we'll find here that the determinant of this is equal to 0, because it'll be 3 times 5 minus 3 times 5, which means this is 15 minus 15, or 0. So here's a good example where if the matrix does not have an inverse, the determinant of the matrix will equal zero. And that's rule number 12.